What if I told you you could use Google Productivity Suite inside the application of Zoom without ever having to leave the client? To share applications, to create applications like docs, sheets, even slides. I'll show you how to do it next. I think we could probably all agree that in an enterprise space, even mid-market, Microsoft's the predominant player in the productivity suite with their Office 365 bundle of, of, of applications. But in the SMB, even, even some of mid-market, but definitely in education, maybe even consumer, Google probably has the large share of the productivity suite. Why? Well, mainly because it's probably free and more cost-effective than the Microsoft suite of products. But two, it's, it's very easy to use, it's quick, it's nimble, and it's all web-based. I've done a couple of videos on what we call application affinity or what the industry calls uh, context switching or even toggle tax. The ability to stay in one application longer to create more productivity for your users. This is what Zoom's doing with the new Google app that they have. I'm gonna show you how to download it and then I'm gonna show you why it's so important. Okay, to download the new Google app inside of Zoom, you have to go to the Zoom uh, app marketplace and and we do that by going to a website a Chrome browser and you literally search for Google and let's go ahead and hit demo here so I've gone to uh, marketplace.zoom.us I've literally searched for Google up here in the search publisher and now here's a Google Drive application that I could download and put into the Zoom client I've already done that I'm going to go to the client next and show you what it looks like you spend a lot of time in Zoom meetings Zoom webinars Zoom events I understand maybe even Zoom phone calls but you spend a lot more time probably collaborating with your individual colleagues co-workers partners vendors customers in chat in Zoom team chat this is why this Google app is so important because what do you do typically in chat Obviously, you direct message your individual users, you even direct message channels, but the most important thing you probably do is collaborate and send files. That's why this Google app is so important. Let's check it out and see what it looks like in the client. Now that I've downloaded it and put it into my Zoom client, I now have a Google icon inside of my Zoom team chat. And here's what happens when I try to collaborate or create new files. I literally just click on it. Look at all the choices I get. I now have the choice to create productivity files inside of Zoom without ever having to leave the client. That's why this is so important. We can do that, we'll just do a quick example. I'm gonna create a new Google Doc. Pretty simple. I'm gonna create a new Google Doc and we're just gonna go, hey, uh, test doc. We're gonna create that doc and watch what happens. Literally, it opens up Google Docs and now I've created a live document inside of Zoom without really ever having to leave the client. We can just do test doc right here as an example. And that's it, we've saved it. So now we've created the new Google doc inside of Zoom. Now we need to send it to the channel and apply permissions. Watch how I do it. I go back to send and now watch what happens when Google comes up and it says, hey, who has access to this file? You can literally apply permissions right from the Zoom client. We're gonna allow everyone in the channel to be co-authors co or even editors here, but you can even do your organization as viewers or co-authors as well. We're gonna apply channel members can edit, and now those permissions have been applied to that document inside of Google Drive. Pretty slick. So let's reopen this document. We've applied permissions so everyone in the channel can look at the document and edit the document. I'm actually gonna co-edit with it now. I'm gonna actually go on both computers at the same time. I'm actually editing it to it live right now. You can see my green cursor on the doc itself and I can just type blah, 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 right? But now let's go to another channel member named Patrick Kelly and watch him edit the same time, co-authoring on this exact same document. You can see Patrick Kelly just came to this document as well. And now we can both co-author on this document. So co-author on the same doc, real time. That's amazing. I can now see his edits as, as, my, as my user and he can see my edits on his side. You can see that I'm logged in as my test account here and Patrick Kelly is logged in as his work account here. We're now co-authoring on the same document in two different organizations. This is my Zoom, Zoom production account on the left and this is my test account on the right. Think how powerful that is when you're gonna be dealing with partners and vendors and customers and external guests and users. You can share documents right from Zoom client using Google and Google Drive. The last thing I wanted to show you is obviously using the power of Google and Google Drive, we can actually upload documents that have already been created inside of the uh, Zoom team chat. Using the same methodology, watch this. Go back to the Google client inside of Zoom Team Chat. I'm gonna share right from Google. I'm gonna pick a file right from my Google Drive. And we're just gonna share a file, uh, a slide I've already created inside 
of, of Google Drive previously. We've uploaded the, the file. We are gonna send it right now. And the same thing happens as before. We want to apply permissions on that file. This is already a pre-recorded slide of just Tattooed Nerd. I actually want to allow everyone to just view it because I don't want them to mess with my picture. So now everyone in the channel that I've uploaded this file to can view that file and view that file only. Again, this is file is actually on Google Drive. I've uploaded no document inside of Zoom Team Chat. Everything can be shared real time. I've demoed the Microsoft Productivity Suite integration several times before, but now we can combine Google Docs as well as Microsoft Office 365 into one client. If you don't remember, I'm gonna put that video above, but I'm gonna show you a quick demo. I'm literally in a SharePoint integrated channel using Microsoft integration with SharePoint with Zoom Team Chat and watch what a user has the ability to do. I can now as a user create Microsoft files and Google files all from the same client without ever having to leave. Check this out. On the bottom side, if I want to upload a file, I can do that like I've done before, but I can also create all these Office 365 files. As well, since I have the Google app, I can create all these Google productivity files. Use, giving your users choice to whatever productivity platform works for them. That is powerful. That, that is a super powerful for the end user and the choice that they have to be as effective and as productive as possible. Imagine being able to choose effortlessly, hey, I wanna use Microsoft 365 because maybe a partner does, or I wanna use Google because that's what I prefer. It doesn't matter. You can now stay in Zoom Team Chat and use both simultaneously. If you like today's video, go ahead and follow me on LinkedIn, or even better, subscribe to me on YouTube where I dive deep into really technical parts of UCAS and Zoom overall. Have a great day. I do work for Zoom as a distinguished architect. I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that has to do with Zoom.